The days of struggling to remove backgrounds are finally over. Vectorizer AI has added a feature that lets you disable your background color with a simple click of a button. This is way easier than using Photop, Photoshop, or even Adobe Illustrator to get rid of that background in a clean manner. And I truly believe that this is right now the best method to both increase quality, but also have a clean result and have your background removed from your AI art. So I'm right here on Vectorizer AI, I'll have a link to this site in the description as well. And it's as easy as dragging and dropping your design into this. I'm dropping a file that is just 1024 by 1024 pixels. So the typical format that you get out of AI art generators, and it takes a few seconds and then vectorizes it. This is no news. I've shown this process before many times. If you zoom in right here, you can see the pixelated version that you had before, and you can see the clean vector as the end result. And this is definitely a really good method to increase quality of your graphics. But previously, I would have still downloaded this, then moved it into Adobe Illustrator and fiddled around with a lot of different tools and settings to get rid of this background, especially with more complex graphics, it would still have been a little bit difficult to get rid of that background color. But now we can do all of this inside of Vectorizer right here by clicking on the colors, first of all, in the top left corner. And then you've got the choice right here over the palette of how many colors you want this graphic to have. In some cases, I would recommend turning this down just to see can you reduce the colors without losing too much detail because the more colors the more kind of complicated and harder to digest the graphic is ideally with t-shirt design you want to stick to a lower amount of colors so i think in this case five colors is good because i want to keep this highlight right here and now we can actually click on this background color specifically which i think is this one right here and we can then click this little check mark right here and there we go it's just taken it off and as you can see we have a transparent background already i can enable this again so you can see the before and after and you might have to click a few times if you're not sure what the actual background color is like this one looks very similar to but in this case it removes the inside of the s'mores right here so we'll enable that again and go right here that removes the background effectively and then it's just a case of clicking this check mark it will refresh or reprocess your design and then we can click download right here um, i typically change the shape stacking to stack shapes on top of each other and i also clip the overflow right here and the rest of the settings can stay the same and then we can download this and now just draw it into photo p and kind of shortcut the process a lot you don't need to go into illustrator let me just show you this as well so i'll, I'll create a new project right here i'll have photo p linked as well i'll give it the correct dimensions i'll make the background transparent and hit create and then i'll open up the svg file that we just downloaded there we go it already has the background removed i'm not used to seeing this when dragging in an svg file yet so it still kind of uh, amazes me a little bit it's so beautiful but um there we go and and as you can see there's no like white edge ghosting effect going on right here it's a very very clean background remove and the thing is we can now just save this with this free version of photo p right here and it's ready for print. So we've taken out that step of removing backgrounds and made it super easy with, oh no, that's share, sorry, export as PNG, made it super easy with Vectorizer. You might be thinking, well, this graphic is super easy. What does it look like if the graphic is more complex? Well, let me show an example for that as well. So I've got this one right here with a skeleton, which typically if you were, especially if you're using Photo P for this or Photoshop, you would really struggle removing all of the white, especially in this book right here. We've got so many pixelated details of the background color. It would be a tough time getting rid of the background or this kind of shadow right here with lots and lots of tiny gaps and yes you can vectorize this and then remove it in adobe illustrator but that is still an additional step an additional program and it's also not just one click of a button but now let me drag this into vectorizer right here we'll wait for it to process then i'll click on the colors in the top left now it says three colors right here but really this should only be black and the background color. So I'll change it to two colors. And now we can click on the beige right here, which is clearly the background color. We can disable this check mark and zoom in. And as you can see everything, I mean, it still looks pixelated now because this is just a preview. But as you can see, there's no color left in between these tiny little gaps right here. It's all being perfectly removed. Let's refresh this as well and look at it more closely once it's actually vectorized. And here we go. You can zoom in and you can see that everywhere we've got an amazing result. We've got smooth curves, no remains of any beige color. And if I hover over it, you can see how tight some of these spaces were in terms of the low pixel size right here. So yeah, amazing result with a very, very 
simple just modification right here in the colors section and we can now once again hit download it should have saved the shape stacking and gap filler settings right here for you and then you can click download and draw it into your tool of choice photo p was just an example because it's free but obviously if you if you work with photoshop with illustrator kit or whatever it is you can still draw the graphics into there and carry on resizing it to the right dimensions and even if you have a more complex graphic that has a lot of colors in it it still does a good job i've tested this as well with other graphics not just single color if that's something you're wondering about so let's wait for this one right here right i'll click on the colors again just choose black and there we go there's another black left right here so we'll just disable that as well and perfect now that's all we had to do and we can refresh this and there we go now we can use it straight away in our tool of choice now, I actually learned about this method from Andre Hansel. He's got a great YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. He focuses a lot on AI content. And I also interviewed him recently on this channel, on my podcast. And if you want to see that episode for a lot of tips related to AI, check out this video next.